Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll tell you iPhone settings you should change in iOS 18. First, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and hit the like button. So let's start the video without wasting any time. So the first step is turn off personalized ad. For this, go to settings. Next, scroll down and go to privacy and security. Next, scroll down to the bottom and choose Apple advertising. Then tap on its toggle button to disable it and you are done and the next step is turn on optimized battery charging for this go to settings then scroll down and choose battery option then choose battery health and charging tap on optimized battery charging toggle button to enable it and you are done and the next step is disable in-app ratings and review for this go to settings next scroll down and go to app store tap on it next scroll down and then Tap the toggle button next to in-app rating and reviews to disable it and you are done. And the next step is disable access to Siri, home control and control center when logged. For this go to settings, next scroll down and go to face id and passcode. Then it will ask you to enter your passcode, so enter your passcode. Next scroll down. Here you can see allow access when logged, disable control center notification center today view and search if you want turn off the toggle for Siri and you are done and the next step is limit microphone and camera access to certain apps for this go to settings next scroll down and then go to privacy and security scroll down here you will see the option of microphone tap on it next toggle of apps you can turn off microphone for camera app as well and you are done and the next step is turn on find my iphone to track your lost device for this go to settings next tap on your apple id at the top next scroll down and choose find my next toggle on find my iphone and find my nectar if it is not enabled and you are done next step is optimize storage with high efficiency format for this open settings next scroll down and go to camera app then choose format next choose high efficiency and you are done and the next step is disable auto correction in keyboards for this go to settings next scroll down and go to general option then scroll down and choose keyboard next disable auto correction by tapping on its toggle button and you are done next thing i am going to tell you use dark app icons for this touch and hold any empty area on your iphone home screen until the app start wobbling then tap on edit in the top left corner then choose customize from here you can choose dark and you are done and the next step is set emergency SOS for this open settings next scroll down and go to emergency SOS toggle call with hold and release or call with three button presses and add an emergency contact and you are done and the next step is set a parental control next scroll down and go to screen time option now you have multiple option downtime it lets you to set a schedule for when you don't want to use your device based on your needs you can also customize downtime to exclude days or put a restrictions for only a few hours of a specific days and there is an app limit you can set daily time limits app categories for instance you can configure the settings to allow games for just one hour and communication limits set restrictions on who can be communicate with at what times and next always allowed you will see the allowed apps during downtime in this section you can disable the access to any app by tapping the plus icon just in any case you want to remove the app from the allowed section tap on the red minus button to the left of it and then tap on remove app tap on remove again to confirm one more essential thing that is screen time be sure to set a screen time passcode to prevent anyone from making unwanted changes simply tap the lock screen time settings type your passcode and again retype your passcode add an email or phone number in case you forget and you are done and the next step is turn on storage device protection for this go to settings next scroll down and go to privacy and security scroll down and choose stolen device protection 
tap on its toggle button to enable it and you are done next thing i am going to tell you is about hide app store purchases for this open app store and then tap on your profile in the top right corner of your screen next tap on apps swipe left on the app and then choose hide and you are done and the next step is lock app tap and hold to the app and then choose require face id then tap on require face id again next choose done and you are done and the next step is turn on vehicle motion cues while traveling go to settings next scroll down and go to accessibility option then choose motion next tap on show vehicle motion cues tap on on or you can choose automatic and you are done and the next step is high desk for this tap and hold on the app and tap require face id from here choose hide and require face id then tap on hide app now the app will be hidden from the home screen and can be accessed via the hidden folder in the app library you will need to verify with your face id to view and use it and you are done and the next step is turn off app tracking for this go to settings next scroll down and go to privacy and security next choose tracking and then you can toggle off allows app to request to track and you are done next step is turn off background app refresh for this go to settings next go to general and then scroll down and choose background app refresh again tap on background app refresh at the top and then choose off and you are done and the next step is disable screen distance this go to settings next scroll down and go to screen time option then scroll down and choose screen distance toggle off screen distance from here it will ask you to enter your screen time passcode so enter your screen time passcode and you are done and the next step is enable reduce loud audio while wearing headphones for this go to settings next scroll down and go to sound and haptics next scroll down and choose headphone safety then turn on reduce loud audio toggle button and you are done So these are the iPhone settings you should change in iOS 18 and also let us know in the comments below if you have any questions thanks for watching see you in the next video